Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Is your puppy still biting your ankles and feet? Have you been told by many people to say ouch very loudly when they bite? Also to stand up, turn around, ignore them? All these are proven ways to help stop puppy biting. But there comes a time when some of them just don't work. Your puppy gets a little older. And in this video, we're gonna give you some other ideas to help your puppy stop biting ankles and feet. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please press the subscribe button and ring the bell to receive all the episodes. When your puppy was a little younger, perhaps you could say, ouch, really loud, and your puppy would stop, back away, and say, oh, I'm sorry, I hurt you. And that's great. But as your puppy gets older, many times, ouch no longer works. It gets the puppy excited, they wanna play more, and they're gonna bite down harder. As you see in this video, the brown puppy is playing, biting on the wrist, or the white puppy biting on the fist. They're playing. But I can almost hear the little girl screaming as the puppy is biting down on her wrist. So what do you do? Well, you stand up and you walk away. That's what you've been told. You, as you stand up, the puppy's attached to your ankles. And then as you walk away, they're jumping on you in front of you, trying to get you to play with them. So all of these are proven ways to help puppies stop biting. And if it's still working with your puppy, by all means, continue to say ouch, to stand up, to walk away, to go behind a gate. But if they're not working, it's time to change your strategy. First idea is, if you have a puppy who likes to carry a toy, you have a great training tool. Every time your puppy picks up that toy, you're gonna say, good girl, good boy, what a good puppy. You're gonna keep that up as long as the puppy has the toy in their mouth. When they drop the toy, you're going to be silent. And when they pick the toy up again, you're gonna go back to what a good puppy. You are so good, what a great puppy. You're not feeding, you're not treating, because that will teach them to drop the toy to get the treat. Just quiet praise for your puppy holding the toy. When your puppy is holding a toy, it is so much easier to pet them. They have the toy in their mouth, so obviously they cannot bite your hand. If they drop the toy and turn their mouth towards your hand or your feet or your ankles, you immediately stop petting them. One way to help your puppy not to bite ankles and feet when your kids are playing soccer or running around outside, sit down on a blanket while your kids are running and racing around the yard. Let your dog enjoy a Kong or feed them some treats so that your puppy knows that when kids are moving, they stay still. Kongs are great also to work with handling exercises. Handling exercises are so very important. So as your puppy is sitting on their blanket working on their Kong, you can touch them on their head, their ears, their body. And that also helps them to know that they're not going to turn around and grab your hand. Please go to the playlist, go to his mat to tell you how to teach your dog to lay on his mat, both outside and inside. Another training technique you can use is give your dog a Kong and move your feet. Move them back and forth. Give your dog a treat. They can eat the treat and the Kong. They're learning that when your feet move, they don't move. Now, if your puppy doesn't have a Kong, then you're just going to do this with treats. One of the most important things to help a puppy to stop biting ankles and feet is training and you're going to teach your puppy to sit start off with a treat lure them into a sit, Mickey, sit good girl. and reward they're still sitting you're going to reward the reason you're teaching the sit is so that you can move around and your dog does not bite your ankles and feet Mickey, up. Good girl, good girl. You're gonna start off teaching your dog to sit 
and then you're going to add movement. You're going to move and your dog's going to move and you are going to have your dog move without biting you. You come. Good girl. And your puppy's going to learn to sit and you're going to feed them and as they sit they're learning to walk up to you sit. Good. and sit which is what you want and you can move around a little bit Nikki come and ask her to sit good and you can move a little bit more your feet are moving your dog is moving and they're not biting your ankles and feet good. so then you start playing a game you move away from your dog let them follow you a little bit and then sit good good girl nice job and they sit they learn to follow you and sit and then you run the other way and you ask them to sit and so what they're doing is they're following you and they're not biting you you'll see in the picture that two um, husky puppies that he's luring with his hand is starting to sit. The other puppy, the puppy is sitting. They have actually taught the puppy paw. So they're using a second behavior. Puppy has to sit and give paw. This is another way to help your puppy not to bite your ankles and feet. Keep them training. Teach them to look. If your puppy is sitting, take the treat. Right to their mouth. Right to your eyes. Nikki, look and you're going to reward them. Go to my video, teach your dog to look, and you can see how to teach that behavior. Nikki, look. Good. We just talked about training to teach your puppy not to bite your ankles and feet, but just as important is exercise. So if you have a sprinkler and your puppy loves to run through it, that's a great way, or a kiddie pool, or a sandbox to put a little bit of water in to let your puppy paddle around in it. All of that is good to help your puppy have physical exercise. Here's a puppy pushing a really big ball to, around the yard. And for that puppy who likes to carry things, take an old leash and tie it to uh, the toy and just move it an inch and then a couple more inches and see if your puppy likes to run after it and grab it they do, you have a great game. You can move the toy, puppy chases it and grabs it. Then you start to move more. Turn and move a few steps away as you're dragging the toy. Then run a few steps away. Your puppy is learning to redirect their mouthing to an appropriate toy, not biting your ankles and feet. We have to be sure that your puppies don't get too tired. If they get too overly tired, they will be more bitey and more mouthy. And there are always those witching periods, devil dog, or whatever you want to call it, the zoomies, where your puppy is just wound up and they're going to be more likely to bite and nip at you. So make sure you're prepared. Have that Kong ready or take them for a nice play out in the yard Then bring them in and give them their Kong so they can relax with you in the evening. So what do you do when you're playing with your puppy? Everything's going well. And all of a sudden they turn around and they grab your feet or they grab your ankles. Well, you turn, you face them and you ask them to sit and you get them to look or you get them to give paw. Use that sit, make it so reliable that when you ask your puppy to sit, they're gonna drop everything and sit. There are people who will still say to you, if my dog bites, I grab their mouth. I squeeze hard. I put my hand in their mouth. I pinch them. Well, look at this video of this adult dog and this puppy. Do you see any pressure on this puppy's mouth? Dogs are so adept at getting their point across, something we can't do. Dogs don't have hands. And if we use our hands to punish this puppy, the puppy is going to forever believe that hands hurt. So stay away from the hands. Please try some of the ideas that we've suggested here. If you wanna see some more videos on puppies, here is a video on how to puppy playlist and another one on puppy biting playlist. Leave some comments below. How do you stop your puppy from biting your ankles and feet? 
please remember to subscribe and ring the bell. Thank you from Joyce at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.